Good morning everyone and welcome back for another session of phonics. Let's have a look at our learning intention for today. So our learning intention is to learn the double E digraph. So we have here two E's and they make the phoneme E. And the action we do for this, we make some ears like donkey ears on the top of our head. E, E. My turn. E. Your turn. E. My turn. E. Your turn. E. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at some things that contain the E digraph. So, talk to your adult or whoever you are at home with and see if you can work out what these things are that all contain the E digraph. Have you had a think? We've got some teeth, t e -th, a B, some feet, woo, a bit smelly, feet, and a tree. They all contain the E digraph. So, how do we write E? It's just two E's. So you're all getting pretty good at those. Let's give it a try. So we start in the middle, we go it up and around and stop. And another one, up, around and stop. Then we draw a line underneath to show it is a digraph. So have a practice of that. Make sure you're going in the right direction Make sure you're forming it correctly. Make sure it looks like an E. Sometimes they can start to look like a backwards G. So just focus on your letter formation for a little while. Make sure you've got it absolutely stuck in your brain and in your muscle memory. Okay. So let me get my black pen. We are going to try to write some words. And the first one is feet. So I'm going to get the black pen on, have a think about which sound you will need to write the word feet. Have you thought about it? So, feet. E -t feet. E Well done if you got that right. Okay. Oh, this is somebody who's crying so much and they feel like that. We say they are weeping. Weep. Weep. The word we're trying to write is weep. Can you give that a try? W e p weep. W Weep. Well done. And the last one we're going to try to write at the moment is, do you know who this is? Bo Peep. Peep. So I think Peep is her surname. So we're going to have a capital letter at the beginning um, and then the digraph in the middle. So Peep. P. E. P. Peep. Are you ready? So capital P. It's a big one like that. It sits on the line. P. E. Peep. Bo peep. Well done. Okay, now we are going to play a game called Full Circle. Okay. So what you will need to do is you will need to write on your um, piece of paper this word which is leek, leek. So this green vegetable here is a leek. You might make leek and potato soup, that would be very nice. Okay, let me get my white pen. So the idea of this game is 
that we change one letter each time to make a new word. Okay, so you might need to pause each time because if you're doing this at home, when we do it at school, we would just rub out the letter that we want to change. But if you're doing this at home, you might need to keep writing the letters each time because obviously it's much harder to rub out if you're not using a whiteboard. So if you need more time, just pause on each word um, so you've got enough time to write it. Okay, so have you written the word leak? Leak. Leak. So we are going to rub out the l of leak and the word that we want to try to change it into is week. Can you see the days of the week here? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So rub out your l and we want to make this now say week. So what do we need at the beginning to make it say week? You got it. W, w, w. So write that here. W, eek. Okay, you ready for the next one? So this time we're going to rub out the end sound. Now this picture here is some plants that are growing where they're not supposed to. They can be very annoying. They are called weeds. So the word we're trying to write is weed. 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 So we've got w, e, and the final sound is d, d, d. So we're going to write that on the end here, w, e, d. Okay, well done. Now, you see this picture down here? So we're going to rub out our w at the beginning of weed. So the sounds we've got are e, d, e, d. And this baby, is having a feed, feed. So what do we need to put before eed to make the word feed? That's right, feed, feed. Okay, have you got that one? So, can you see this is someone feeling a pine cone. So we're going to rub out the d of feed. And we want to make it say feel, feel, feel. You feel something, you touch it, you hold it in your hand, you feel it, feel. So we've got e, feel. We're going to put an l at the end. Feel, feel. Okay. Oh, this looks like our basket after fruit time. So we're going to rub out the at the beginning of feel. So the word we've got is eel, eel. And here is some orange peel, peel. So what do we need to add to eel to get peel? Can you hear it? P -p peel, well done. So we're going to write our P here at the beginning. Peel, peel. Oh my goodness, can you see these eyes peeking through, having a little peek? So we're going to rub out the L of peel. And the word we've got here is P, E, P, E. And the word we're trying to write is peak, peak, peak. Can you hear that sound at the end? Peak. K -k -k. And usually we would say there's a digraph if we have a k at the end of the word, but not this time. It's a kicking k peak. Do you know what this is going to take us back to? If we rub out our p -p -p, we need to get back, right back to the beginning again. Do you remember what these were called? It's a leak, leak. So please, can you try to change your eek to say leak? That's right. 
we need to add an oh ooh, you can't see my curl my flick leak well done if you've got all of those that's a really fun game that you can play you could try and see how many ways you can change um different words it's quite good fun okay the last thing we're going to do today is a little bit of reading so we have got three different pictures here picture one is somebody looking through their binoculars in the forest full of trees here is somebody looking through a telescope at the sky full of stars and here we've got somebody looking up into the sky to look at a plane so we're going to read this sentence then you are going to say which picture it matches does it match picture one picture two or picture number three are you ready so pause the video here try to read it by yourself and tell me which number you think this sentence matches okay let's see if you are right are you ready so we've got our tricky word i can can see see a t r e tree tree. I can see a tree. Which picture does that match? One, two, or three? Ready? Picture one! And I'm sure all of you got that right. He can obviously see lots of trees because he is in the forest with his binoculars. Okay, that is all for today. Thank you very much for coming back for another phonics lesson. Please practice your E's at home. Practice the action, saying the sound. Take a look at the digraph. So you link that digraph with this action, E and this phoneme, E. Okay, so they all need to tie together. Have a lovely rest of the day and I'll see you tomorrow with another vowel digraph. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks very much for tuning in. Bye!